What's up, people? As promised, tomorrow morning, we start our 46 mile, five day trek through the Salcante Pass. We will not quit, as promised, we will finish it. I've seen so many people fail this, and we will not. I need to go to bed, let's do it. Off for breakfast on the way. 15 soles per person. All you can eat buffet, loads of eggs and bread and fruit, all sorts of things over there. It's a good spot to stop for breakfast. And we keep our that way we keep our gracias. That way we keep our breakfast for um for our lunch today on the hike that we got from the hotel. Now that is innovative technology. You can take a dump whilst you have a shower, it takes half the time. We need to implement this. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> right, we've just started and it started raining literally as soon as we started, so that's a great start. I'm hot as well. <sighs> Wearing shorts. Breathe. Yeah, the altitude's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. Go on, go on, camel. The rain is not that bad, is it? It's quite a nice, like, misty feel as well. Look at this. It's like walking in Narnia or something. The only problem is when we're going uphill. It is an absolute mission, it's very steep. And this is not even the most difficult day. I had this proper planned out, I was gonna tell you all about it while I'm walking. But I can see why most people just narrate over them, them walking, you know? They put up clips of them doing the trail and they sort of talk over it because it is so difficult to talk. I can barely breathe when we're going up, up the hill. It is pretty beautiful up here though. Look at this. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Very nice. Mossy. Yeah, it's all mossy, misty. It's well nice. Just don't fall down there. It's a beautiful landscape up here. Very cloudy though. I can't see a lot of um, can't see a lot of the scenery. I can see how big the mountains are. I probably won't catch you on this, but I'll try. You see all this dark patch here? It goes all the way up. And we're up very high right now, so... Yeah, I don't know. What the hell is this? It's a bit of tree. Natalia made us buy these sticks. Apparently they make it a lot easier. And I've got to say, I'm glad I've got it. 55 solids each. We've just got one each. Don't need two. Two's for pussies. Or the elderly. I think if I was older, I probably would like having two. Yeah. Also, this poncho, absolute lifesaver as well. The jacket is too warm. Oh, I couldn't wear it. I, I was in a t-shirt and shorts in the rain and this poncho has absolutely saved me. We've done 2.6 kilometers, so we... So we've still got another, oh mate, it's nice here. It's got about another three and a half kilometers to go until we reach the first village settlement. Then we've got to find a place to stay for the night and find some food. We've just got to go up there. 
Also, good thing about our hotel that we stayed at. If you haven't seen the last video, go back and see the hotel. It's the best hotel in Cusco. Gave us a little uh, lunch pack for us to take with us today. It's a breakfast pack, really, but you get breakfast on the way on, in the van. So, look, you get all dried fruit. You get a little trail mix bag. You get crisps. You get a sandwich. You get all sorts. You get a little juice. It's well good. It's well nice. This. I don't even know what fruit it is, but it's nice. There's that settlement right through there. Probably not going to pick that up. I think that's where we need to go. Well, Natalia thinks that's where we're going to need to go. I am the organiser. You are the organiser, yeah. I'll just turn up. Yeah. Fucking big fly. Holy oh, shit. One thing we do need to watch out for on this trek is the Andean Jurgen. A very venomous snake that roam these parts along with they have the Andean condor here, which is the second largest bird in the world behind the, uh, behind the albatross. They've also got cougars here. Apparently very rare to see one. I kind of hope we don't see one in a way. I know I, know, I, know I uh, saved you from that rabid dog in India, Nat, but I think if, the, I think if there was a cougar here, I'll be throwing you to him and I'll be running that way. Sorry. There's also the speckled bear. The speckled bear is very similar to a sun bear in looks. Like a small black bear sort of type bear. They're not aggressive, apparently. Again, I don't think I'll be going too close. But uh, yeah, ho hopefully we can see some cool wildlife. That would be, that would be good. There's also quite a lot of um, tropical birds up here including the giant hummingbird, which would be cool to see. I've never seen a hummingbird. That would be awesome to see that. Uh, and they've also got the Cock of the Rocks. <laughs> I don't know who named it that, but uh, yeah, the Cock of the Rocks is, it's, it's like a, it's a bird, but it's very red in color, very vibrant, and they're quite large and they're like, the, they're the Peruvian bird. If we get to see a couple of them, That'd be sick. This first day is actually extremely easy. That, the first bit is, was difficult and it was pissing it down as well. So it was a bit of a miserable start, I can't lie. But since then, it's been good. We've got mad views. There's a lot of cloud cover above, um, but it's not, it's not ruining our view of the valleys and stuff. Speaking of valleys, it's a very mountainous area with a lot of valleys which is great for hiking. But I will warn you about this. If you're gonna do this, you wanna get on that uh, minibus, you might wanna take some travel sick tablets because that route is mountainous. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of back and forth, up and down hills, or chew some coca leaves before you get on. The rain has returned. With a couple of kilometers left to go, passing a few uh, accommodations now. You see the little glass domes? They've pretty much all got them. It's a bit of like a trademark thing over here. But obviously right now you ain't gonna see shit. You can stop there, but it just means that the hike tomorrow and the hike to the lake's gonna be a lot longer. So it's best just to get to that village and uh, take it from there. We shouldn't all wear white socks, look fucking ridiculous. But I'm wearing white socks and a red dress. Interesting. He's dug a moat around his um around his home shed. Oh. I have my trusty stick. Come on, Gandalf. We're pretty close to Sorai Pampa now. You get to stay in one of these little domes. It says here, they come with a hot shower, private toilets, solar energy, so they have electricity here. Um, I think we're gonna keep keep going because the, 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 the lake is, is actually all the way up there. And then tomorrow we've got to go all the way that way. So if we stay here, we've got to walk all the way up to the lake and all the way back down to here. If we go all the way to that sort of settlement area over there, they've got the domes as well. 
I think we're just going to keep going to them. I think they're a bit more expensive, but it's going to be a lot easier. We'll go over there and see anyway. This is a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. It's, it's the altitude makes it feel a lot more difficult, especially when you're carrying the bags. It's not just like a normal stroll. This valley's nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well. There is some more accommodation down there. We are here at the Sky Camp. They don't look as good as the ones we walked past earlier. I think they're the better ones. Yeah, I, I think, think they're the ones that are on booking.com maybe. Yeah, look inside. I think we got it mixed up with yeah. which one's the good one. I think we go back. Let's have a look there because they've got accommodation there. Can you see those little huts? Yeah. All right, we can try. We're gonna try the little huts over there. All right. Not what I was expecting really. I think we go back to the ones we went past. Really? Yeah, they were nice. Yeah, the thing is, none of these have got hot showers. They're all cold shower, which actually wouldn't be too bad. It's not cold here, but still, when you've got the luxurious one down the bottom of the hill there, it's tempting. Oh. Right, <clears throat> the place is closer to the lake path, either fully booked or not really worth staying in. So we're gonna walk all the way back down this hill now to the first place where the alpacas were, drop our bags off, come all the way back this way, go up to the lake, come all the way back, go all the way back down this hill again, and then go back with our bags all the way up here to continue our journey tomorrow. Whoops. Look, we'll go all the way back over there again. Oh, back's hurting a bit already. Get used to it. We've just got to wear in. We've just got to wear ourselves into it. We'll be fine. Well, we have just learned something, so you don't have to. Apparently, if you're winging it, like we usually do, very little accommodation options available here at the first, first little settlement area. It's a hostel, which is what we're in right now. And we only just got this room. We were about to stay in the dorms and he just came and said, this one's available. So we've got this. We've got the glass roof. Obviously, it's just very cloudy out there. I've got a banging headache. I think we've got altitude sickness. We need more coca leaves. Been a very difficult first day, I'm not gonna lie. I know I was giving it all the big in yesterday, but it, this is actually quite difficult. So I've got to carry this massive ice bag with me, and it's a lot of uphill, it's not just a normal walk, and it's raining permanently. I thought it was just gonna rain a couple hours a day. It has been raining permanently, we had like a short window. We've now got to walk to the lake, right? Look at this hill what we've got to walk up in a minute. <laughs> this is a three hour round trip to get see this lake. up there into the clouds <sighs> yeah this is a little hostel area look out here the dorms are in there we were about to stay in there over there but because I've got the drone and camera equipment with me I really didn't want to stay in a dorm just in case um, and then last minute this one here popped up ta-da I know it's not much, but I'm bloody grateful for it right now. Oh. Another thing as well, we end up getting this a lot cheaper than it says online because we are because we walked in online. This place is thirty one pounds for one night for two beds in the dorm. We managed to get this this room here for less than that with dinner and breakfast included. So it has worked in our favour, but we did walk all the way down to that Eco Lodge place that we were at first, the place with the hot showers and, and that. I don't know if we're even at the right place. It's very difficult to find the entrance to these accommodation options. I think it's because most of them just come here with guides. 
So the guide's just take them straight in and it's all prepaid and nobody needs to be on the door. So you turn up there and there's no one there and you're like, where is, it, where is even the entrance? <sighs> Apart from this place, the hostel. And here we are. Right, I think we're going to chill for a bit. We've got about 20 minutes, really, haven't we? And then we've got to go. So yeah. It's the headache. I need to get rid of the headache. I'm going to try some coca leaves. Just making my headache worse. Okay, we've had a little rest up. Now we're gonna hit the hill and try and find this lake. I'm leaving half the stuff here because I, it's, this is tiring. Like I'm a scaffolder for God's sake. I do this every day, all day, every day I carry stuff. And it's this altitude is completely screwing me over. <laughs> you can't even see up the hill, look at that. We've got to go up there. Into the abyss. Look, 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 look how happy Natalia is about this. I have a stonking headache, guys. Yeah, I've got a headache too. It's, it's got to be the attitude. Here we go. Making our ascent. We've worked it out. If we put some coca leaves in our cheek, and go really slowly this is very pleasant otherwise it's not it's it's not quite as comfortable there's heaps of horses up here I wonder if they're wild look at this would have been an old building at some point or would it I don't know if it would it's not really much of a doorway, is it? The uh, the people in that hostel are actually extremely friendly. The woman in there is very, very friendly. Always smiling, very happy. There isn't really luxury accommodation here. It's all much of a muchness, really. Yeah, there's no... Cold not showers. It's all cold showers, all outdoor toilets, no private toilets, no heating. Well, they do have Wi-Fi, and we do have... USB. USB socket, and the USB socket in the room, but that's it. Cacao leaves are laxatives. No, they're not. Well, what if they are? Then you'd be at Shut Shit's Creek, you would. I wouldn't. Yeah. I only had a couple. Yeah, you had cacao tea. Three portions of cacao leaves. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get rid of this headache. My headache's not going. It's lingering still. It, it's actually not as bad as it was. When we first got back to that accommodation, I, I didn't think I was going to be able to go to this lake today. I was going to preserve some energy for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day, man. Yeah. 20 kilometers. How much have we done today? Today, technically, the first leg, which would only have been 6.3 kilometers. So yeah, we've done next to nothing today, really, compared to tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, up and down that road trying to find accommodation, we probably added on another four kilometers. We added on a bit doing that. Yeah. Mistakes were made, people, mistakes were made. That's all right. How funny is it that we've chosen to do this and we've done nothing but moan <laughs> the whole of day one? <laughs> yeah, but the best things in life come hard. Yes. This will all be worth it. Dreams go to die in a comfort zone. Oh, bloody hell, that was deep. It's true. You have to push yourself. Yeah. I think we're allowed to moan. Give you an idea of just how difficult this is. And that's wearing a Fitbit. And it says she's done 113 zone minutes today. That is 113 minutes of intense activity. You're supposed to do 20 minutes three times a week. We've done a lot more than that just in one day, and this is only day one. This is meant to be the easy day. So we haven't even finished yet. We're and we're, we're not, and we're not even finished. We've literally only just started towards the lake. With with we're about. I don't know how far up the hill we are because I can't see the top. <laughs> oh. I hope where those people are is the top, but I doubt it. I completely underestimated how difficult this would be. You can uh, you can see why UFC fighters and professional athletes come to the mountains to train in high altitude. I feel like I'll be able to run a marathon when I get home after this.
It's so nice when the clouds break. I look at the landscape, it's actually crazy. You just have to stop and remember to appreciate it every now and then. So, just staring at the floor the whole time, you know? <sighs> Try not to die. Slow and steady. So nice when the sun comes out though, look at that. You get like these little breaks in the cloud. than I thought it would be. I haven't actually even seen it yet. This is the, for my first time seeing it. It's cool, like the ridges up the sides. Took us about an hour and a half to get up here. It's well worth it, it's cool. And it doesn't look very big, but when you sit, when, when you go, we're walking around it now, but when you see people on the other side of it, you can see just how big it is. Like there's people up on that mountain there and you see how far away they are. It's very deceiving. This, this doesn't look very big at all, but if I go and stand over there, over there, you're gonna look tiny. Day one is done. Now, in about four minutes time, we're gonna be having dinner, which is a uh, soy meat spaghetti, bolognese, and then followed by a cold shower, as there's no hot water here. And then I need to get as much sleep as possible. I need to shift this headache because it is ruining my experience. We've got a 20 kilometer walk tomorrow, half of which is a heavy uphill second half is a heavy downhill so it's going to be a challenging day the elevation is quite big tomorrow it goes up to 4,600 meters right now we're at 3,800 so how do I how do I explain it oh isn't it the the tallest mountain in the UK is only 1,300 meters tall mm -hmm. above sea level so it gives you an idea of how high up we are and how much walking we have to do tomorrow oh yeah. Good night's sleep, and then we'll smash day two tomorrow. Peace out, people. <laughs>